Hello everyone, this is Kushagra. Welcome to our YouTube channel Dev Town. If you like the content, do like, share, and subscribe to our channel. So you'll be seeing a series of videos required for you to get a good understanding of web development. So in our today's topic is your IDs and classes in HTML5. Uh, students in the previous video we have talked about your inline and block elements. Uh, in the previous video we have talked about what is inline element, what is the difference between the inline elements and the block elements their properties uh, say uh, block elements take the whole width and inline element takes the width uh, that is the content width only so that's all we have talked if you have not watched my previous video to watch that i would be pasting the link in the description as well so let's start without wasting time so let me just quickly create one html file say it as id underscore class underscore in html dot html so i have created the html file and now i would like to generate the boilerplate code so to generate the boilerplate code you have to just press shift and exclamation mark and you will get an option of emit abbreviation you have to just press enter and you will get a boilerplate code so let me just run the live server let me just stop it and run it again open it with live server as you can see the server is running properly and I'm getting a title of document. Let me just quickly change it to IDs and class in HTML. As you can see the title is changed to IDs and class in HTML and let me just give the heading as well. Now I would be using H2 for that. IDs and class in HTML5. Five. Yeah, let me just give it as IDs. Yeah, so that's all. And let me just give you, uh, let me just say a div, and I would be giving an ID to this. ID say it as main div and i would be giving one class as well say class should be your red bg yeah so i have given the two attributes that is your id and classes so let me just tell you the difference and what is id and what is class say if you want to apply for an Aadhaar card so what you will do the first process is you have to fill a form and you have to submit your valid documents and the application will go for verification then and after the verification is done and the documents is valid you will get an Aadhaar number and that Aadhaar number would be unique students now you won't uh, like the other person or say your mother also applied along with you for the Aadhaar card so your mother will getting uh, would get a different Aadhaar card number and you will get a different Aadhaar card number so no two persons can have a same Aadhaar card number so that Aadhaar card number is unique and that is dedicated to you only in the similar way in HTML the IDs are unique and they are dedicated towards the particular element only no two elements can have a same ID so ID as you can see by the word ID also it's self explanatory what does ID stands for and id is basically your identifier in html we call ids as identifier and one particular element in the html can have only one id and one id can have only one element so there is a relationship of one on one in the id in the case of id so what i wanted to say is that say there is one more element that is s2 and i can't give this main div id to this element so no two elements that is your h2 and div can have a same id i can give another id to this say i can say it as main h2 this is valid but this main div this is not valid because now the two elements are having the same id say no two persons can have a same Aadhaar card number na? so in the similar way no two elements can have a same id only one element can have one id so that is about the id and what the purpose of the id in html so later on students when we will learn about the javascript and we will start with the coding of the javascript 
you will get to know that you can grab a particular element and change its properties with the help of id so in this case or uh, in javascript this id is very useful so you will understand later on like what is the power of id say i am giving this is i am typing this is a main div in the div section so you can change this content with the help of javascript by using this id so that's how in the later on this id would be very helpful to you to grab this element and you can also give a particular css property say there are multiple divs say i am giving another div and typing it as this is a second div say now i am giving a css property css is basically used for your styling say i want to have a div with a red color so if i will give the css property with the help of element say div and i will give it a black color border or your blue color border so this would be applicable for both the divs now i want like this this sh uh, this div should the first div should have your say black color border and the second div should have your blue color border so now this is not valid so what i can do is i can grab this particular element with an id say main div main div should have a border of black color and the second div that is your let me just give this div also an id say it as id of say second div now this div should have a border of blue color so now with the help of id i can give i can have a two separate properties for two separate div so that's how the div is uh, helpful in the css as well as in javascript so this is the power of javascript you will understand later on not to worry like what is the power and now just remember that id should be unique and it should be dedicated towards one element only so that's it now let me just tell you what is classes say uh, you want to uh, there is one coordinator of a college say of SIU Symbiosis International University and that coordinator wants to send an email to the students of say BBA and in that BBA there is a students of MBA course as well so what she will do like say she want to circulate an email to only the students of BBA not to the students of MBA so what she will do she will generate one group or she will generate one whatsapp group and she will send that particular email or the message she, uh, what she wants to send to that group only and the students those who have enrolled for that particular course will get the email now mba students won't get that email na? because the group is for the bba students only so classes in the similar way class is used to use for a group say if you want to have a multiple group say i'm giving the same class to this group only and say red bg and i'm giving this class to this now you want to apply a border say border of red red color and you want to apply say sorry background now you want to apply a background of red color to multiple elements so the first option that is there you have to type say h2 or you have to type an id and you have to say red color to this h2 and then you have to type it for div and then red color red background to this and the second div then also the red background to this so that's how the code is not redundant uh, the code there is a repeat repeated codes the same code is repeated again and again so to reduce this redundancy what we will do we will create one class and we will type a properties that we want for this particular class only and now we can use this class for multiple elements now what will happen we will type the properties one and that properties would be applicable for all the elements where we have given the this class name now the uh, the main difference or the main difference between the id and the class is uh, two or more elements can have a same class mm -hmm. as i have given say this h2 is having a class of red background and this div is also having the first div is also having a class of red background and the third div is also having a class of red background this is the main difference which is there between the ids and the classes so ids can have id should be unique and only one element can have an id whereas in the class multiple elements can have 
the same classes and the next thing that is the next difference which is there is one element can have multiple classes as well so what i wanted to say is that this div can have multiple classes say red background and say black border so now this div element is having two classes that is your red background and black border whereas one this div can have only one id so this is the uh, next difference which is there and now let me just quickly tell you the next thing that is the let me just comment and say powers of emit let me just tell you what is the power of emit um, now say you want to generate a div with an id of say third div now i would like to do that so what you will do let me just the, tell you let me just tell you the shortcut for this so for id we use hash hash is the symbol of id and you have to give say third okay so what this shortcut will do this shortcut will quickly generate a div with the id of third div let me just press enter as you can see the div is ready let me just yeah the id is third div and say let me just quickly tell you the shortcut for class as well so if you want say you want to have a span with then class of say red background so what you will do for classes we use dot students so dot is represented for the class and you have to just type the class name which you want to give and press enter as you can see the span is ready with the class of red background so let me just comment and say dot sorry dot is for the class and pound or hash is for the ids yeah now let me just tell you one more thing so how to give a shortcut just a second shortcut for giving multiple class to one element yeah so now just let me just tell you say you want to give a uh, say multiple classes say it as red background and block black border to this class so how you will do it what is the shortcut for that so you have to type dot and say red background and then again dot and then black border so you will get a span with two classes that is your red background and black border so this is this is the way or this is the shortcut for having a multiple classes in one element and say now you want to let me just quickly give another comment and say shortcut to create multiple elements with ids and class now say you want to have a span say four span with an id of say sorry uh you can have you can have a, a unique element so this would be valid for the classes only so say now you want to have a class with um say you want to have four divs with a class of red background and black border so what you will do you will just simply copy it and paste it four times say this is so now let me just tell you the shortcut for this so what you can do is you can type this span and you can say dot and you can type red red bg dot black border and you can type say multiply by four as you can see there are four spans ready let me just quickly format it format document yeah as you can see now the span is ready there are four span with uh, a class of red background and black border so this is how you generate it let me just quickly give first let me just type anything first second 
third and your fourth yeah as you can see this is this is all about the ids and the classes student and um, that's all uh, you have to just remember that for the id one element and for the class there can be a multiple element and for id id should be unique and classes can be given to a group so that's all for the day thank you students i would be seeing you in the next video